Today's sound is... And this is how to make it in serum. What's up everybody, how you doing? Welcome back to another Epi Aquatic Tuts. Again, we are making this bass right here. Going for that infamous dominate bass, uh, mainly the one from a second drop. You can get closer to the one from the first drop, the more fuzzy one, by just bringing this wavetable over to the saw wave. So you kind of get into two and one in this sound, uh, so which is pretty cool. All you have to do is just bounce back and forth between the triangle wave, which will give you the more piercing one, and then the saw wave, which give you the more fuzzy one, I guess. If you guys like this sound, hit that subscribe button, and if you want to support the channel, Check out either my serum packs, I've got a few of them, or become a Patreon, a lot of cool perks there. Links in the description for all that. But anyway, let's just go ahead and we'll duplicate serum here, and uh, I'll initialize the patch, and like I said, we'll make it from scratch. So, in making this bass, I knew probably one of the easiest ways to go about doing it is FM from B. And what we're going to do here is basic shapes for oscillator A and oscillator B. And basically what I like to do is just kind of find the right combination um, of these two uh, wavetables or of the two oscillators until I get the exact sound I'm going for so pretty much That's what I did so first I'll bring the level all the way down for oscillator B Level all the way up for oscillator A and then go ahead and turn on FM from B So now just go ahead and start to bring the FM from B parameter up And then we're gonna bring that to the saw wave and then we're going to bring the wavetable position for oscillator B, we're going to bring that to the triangle wave. <laughs> and really, that's kind of the building blocks of the rest of this entire sound. It's that easy. It's just FM from B, and then finding the right combination of wavetables for the FM from B um, to get whatever sound you're going for. And then, I bring, and then I just brought the octave for oscillator B down one. So the exact spot is 85% for right there, right on the money, like that. So then let's hop into the effects section first, and then the hyper dimension um, effect is going to make a really big difference on this sound. So without it, and then with it. I love the effect of this hyper. I don't even really use the dimension expander. The hyper just gives a really nice tone to the sound. Aside from just, you know, giving it that kind of detune, kind of like widening sound, it just makes like a really nice hollow tone. Like real boxy. And I just love how that sounds. So turn that on, just bring the mix down a little bit, about 40%. I don't, right about there. Distortion. So I chose the asymmetrical distortion or asym, I don't. Um, I like to kind of filter through some of those distortion types until it just sounds right for whatever sound I'm making. So, I mean, that really beefs it up a lot. And then the drive is pretty much all the way up. Just I had it at 94%. All right, so now let's go back to the original sound and I'll play it for you. At the beginning, there's that really like punchy, like pumping kind of like, you know, real quick hit, right? And then once the sound ends, you're kind of getting that effect again. So what we're doing there is modulating the master tune of serum really fast. So what it's going to do is pitch the sound down and then pitch it up. And then it's going to settle somewhere in the middle here. So this um, LFO shape right here, this line is going to control the pitch that it lands at. <laughs> like that. So you can definitely get creative with that. Um, so that's what we're doing with that LFO shape. And that's why it looks a little... A little crazy like that. So let's go ahead and hop into the matrix, and that's how we're gonna um, modulate the uh, the pitch. So for um, the source, you're gonna choose LFO number uno, a done destination, master tune, and then we want that going bipolar. So it's gonna go left and right. So it's gonna go pitch up. So it's gonna pitch down and then up, or up and down, whatever way you set it. And then we're gonna set the modulation amount up 12. And then you want to make the LFO shape look like I do on the uh, on the left there. So just, you know, you're going to have to just kind of draw this out. Something like that. Curve this guy up. And then pitch this run right around here. And then curve it up. So really something just like that. And then like another little curve down here. You don't have to get too 100% exact with this. But, you know, something close to this is what you want. Um, because you want it to pump like real fast in the, in the beginning so you get that nice hit 
and then the songs and then it just kind of settle somewhere around here so now you can hear we're getting a little bit of that punch in the beginning there like that just like that so now what you want to do is go back into the effects section and we're going to kind of accentuate that punch in the beginning of the sound with a couple different things here one we're going to be doing a high pass filter so we're just going to be using the eq for that so turn it on high pass and then bring the frequency about right there and then bring the mix or sorry bring the lfo to the uh, frequency and bring it down minus 33. and i should mention the uh, actual lfo speed is at one half triplet note so turn all these on and then one half triplet <laughs> So you can hear, you can kind of hear what that's doing. We just want it to be a little subtle because once we throw in the multiband compressor, it's going to kind of bring that out a little bit more. All right, so now let's actually go back to the FM from B. I forgot we're modulating that as well. So bring LFO 1 to the FM from B parameter and oscillator A, and then bring it up uh, 18. There we go. Now we're getting there. And then we're going to layer that with the sub oscillator because it's sounding a little weak, right? We need, we need a little bit of low end in there, so I chose the uh, sawtooth right here. Just like that. Um, so just bring the octave down one. So without the sub, and then with it. Cool, just like that. All right, so now that we have all of that, let's go ahead and jump into the um, combs filter. Um, so right here, the combs filter, what that's going to do here is there's a bit of like a pumping action to the sound, like a really nice uh, like suction, like pressure release type of effect going on here. Like that. If I release the note at the right time, you'll hear it. Now what we're doing there is modulating the cutoff of that combs filter. So when you play the when you bring the resonance up quite a bit on these combs filters and you have the cutoff around this area, you get that kind of effect. But what's cool is you can like modulate that really fast. And get really cool hydraulic type of sounds. And like pressure release type noises, I guess. It's kind of hard to explain, but um, so what we're going to do here is bring the cutoff to uh, 57 hertz, to be exact, right about there, good enough, and then bring LF1 to the cutoff and let go all the way up. And then we want to throw on our multiband compressor after that. So now one more effect we have on there is the phase 48 minus filter. I really like these filters, uh, I think they sound great. Um, so go ahead, turn that on, and then just run oscillator A through it. It works really well with the combs filter. Gives it a really nice, crunchy, like, neuro-ish kind of vibe, I guess you could say. Um, so the cutoff is going to be at 2814. So bring it right around there. Something like that. Uh, resonance, we're boosting that resonance a lot, so a little bit past 50%, boost the drive, and then modulate it with LFO1, so bring LFO1 to the cutoff, and then bring it down, uh, minus 49. So, minus 49 right there. And really, this phaser filter makes a big difference. But anyway, guys, that's about it. Thank you for watching this epic quack tuts. Again, if you're interested, check out the serum packs or the Patreon. Um, that would be pretty sweet. But anyway, till next time, I'll see you later.